New at 5.30, are cheerleaders more attractive in groups or on their own? A new report is accusing UC San Diego researchers of spending up to 1.1 million taxpayer dollars to answer that very question. Question we need answered so bad. All right, 10 News reporter John Horn joins us in studio. You took this right to the guy who did this study. That's right, Steve, and he tells me that the report has it all wrong. Edward Volz says the study didn't use any cheerleaders and cost taxpayers just a few thousand dollars. He also says it could someday help save a life. I, for the last few years, every year I see this study come out and then I see well-respected scientists defend their excellent research against accusations of being wastefully frugal by people who seem to not understand the actual substance of the work. And now it's Edward Vol's turn to defend his work. The UC San Diego psychology professor oversaw a government-funded study asking whether people are more attractive in groups or on their own, otherwise known as the cheerleader effect. I stand by my research and I think that it's valuable. But Arizona Senator Jeff Flake says it was too expensive, alleging it cost taxpayers up to $1.1 million. Flake released a scathing report Tuesday called 20 Questions, government studies that will leave you scratching your head. Vols made it along with others such as, where do bee stings hurt the most? Why does walking with coffee cause it to spill? Who will be America's next top model? And what makes goldfish feel sexy? If we've got so much money that we can spend it on a project like this, cut the taxes. If we really need this, well, you better show me some better justification. But Vol says his study only cost taxpayers about $4,000, which was his salary. It was part of a larger project funded through that $1.1 million government grant on semi-autonomous cars, because attractive people can make for distracted drivers. Well, a self-driving car needs to know what other drivers on the road are going to do. The better it can predict what other drivers are going to do, the more efficiently it can control itself. And Vol's study found people are more attractive in groups. He says many are about how people see the world around them. <laughs> His next one's about how people interpret large groups of dots to measure bias. But he says no grant is needed for that one. All right, so we better all stick together in this That's group. True. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right. We all bring way. each other up. Exactly. All right, the thank you, starfish one was interesting. That's I true. like that. <laughs> all right, it doesn't stop there either. Here's a look at some of the other wacky studies conducted by U.S. researchers using taxpayer dollars. Why does the face of Jesus appear on toast? Are Republicans or Democrats more disgusted by eating worms? I've always wanted to know that. Could you outrun a dinosaur? And do drunk birds slur when they sing? Why would they be drunk? But <laughs>